For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how to double click a button. So this is related to the same debouncer button library that we looked at last week. And inside of the debouncer library's button functionality, uh, not only can you look for short and long presses, but you can also look for multiple short presses. So what I'll do right here is when I press this button, it will beep. And that's if I do a single click. So I got a beep. I have a little pattern that's going to play. If I do, however, a double click, you'll see that it's changing the colors of the NeoPixels. So single, whoops, there we go, single, double, double, single, single. So how you do this in code, from the Adafruit Debouncer library, I'm importing button. Uh, then I set up the button pretty much as normal. Then the key thing here is in my main loop, I check for button updates, as you normally do with debouncer or button. If it's a button dot short count of one, that means I've just pressed it a single time. And when I do that, I'm setting the current tone and then I'm playing that tone. When it has a button dot short count that's greater than one, then it's gonna consider it essentially a multi-click or a double click. And you can see here, when I do that in my output, it says, okay, that was a multi-click of two. I'm actually counting, there we go, I did three, six. So depending on how uh, granular you wanna get with your interface, which can be pretty tricky, uh, you can set up single clicks, double clicks, and even triple clicks. Sometimes those are a little hard to pull off. Uh, and you can set different outcomes depending on the number of that shortcut uh, rather that short count value. And so that is how you can use multi-clicks inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.